Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to Gain Explains Mental Maths Tutorials. Houston, we have a problem. 162, 162 divided, divided by 18. 18. Expecto Patronum! Anyone? 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 Let's put it into a bus stop as some people prefer to see division questions written like this. When using the bus stop, don't forget to have some social distancing between your numbers. What makes this question so tricky is that the divisor is above 12. I don't know my 18 times table. But I've noticed something, something interesting about the divisor and the dividend. They are both even numbers. If both numbers are even, then you can use a strategy I call half id. And just to be clear, even numbers are numbers that end in either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Odd numbers end in either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So having examined the last digits of the numbers we are dividing, I know we can use half hiding to make our question so much easier. Let's see how half hiding works by using a much simpler question. 12 divided by 6 is 2. If we were to half both sides, we'd end up with 6 divided by 3, which is also 2. So halving both sides gives you exactly the same answer. Back to our tricky question. Let's begin by halving the divisor. Half of 18 is 9. Let's half the dividend. Half of 162 is 81. That looks a lot easier. 81 divided by 9 is 9. Learn those times tables, folks, or you'll be left behind. Let's look at another example. 224 divided by 28. I believe in you. Alrighty then! Whilst on first viewing this looks tricky, you will notice that both numbers are even numbers. So we can use half hiding to make the question easier for us. Half of 224 is 112. And half of 28 is 14. Better, but still difficult. However, both numbers are still even. So we can half them again. Half of 112 is 56. And half of 14 is 7. 56 divided by 7 is, of course, 8. So 224 divided by 28 is also 8. A piece of cake. Time to do some independent practice. Pause the video, pick your level, and start doing some mental maths magic.